Hi everyone, I recently had somebody reach out to me and ask me about the Farm Your Tail series so I thought I would just pop on here, make a quick video and show you all the different ones that I have in my personal stock, starting with the Poppy and Sam Easter egg hunt. So as you can see, um, Farm Your Tail series has recently kind of been relaunched this past year as Poppy and Sam. They are the main characters. These guys have been around for over 40 years. They're kind of Usborne's trademark series. Um, Stephen Cartwright made this series very popular with his, his illustrations and his fun little find the duck feature. This little yellow duck is hiding on every page in every Farm Yard Tales book that you're going to find. So here he is. That just adds to it, makes it super fun. Um, this book is especially cute. It has finger trails on it. It has little peepholes and it's just a perfect cute little story. Um, it has board, look, board book pages so you don't have to worry about your kiddos ripping them. So that one's super fun. Then there's this animal hide and seek which is fun because it's touchy feely and it has some flaps in it. So it has all these fun little textures. There's like a little shiny thing and it's great for introducing your kids to counting too. There's only one cow in the barn where is Daisy? So look around. Do you see Daisy? Nope. It's hiding. So there she is. She's hiding in the barn. So then you can spot the little yellow duck. You can count the cows now. There's one. There's two cows. And then on the next page, um, Curly is missing. So you have to search for Curly. And Curly is hiding behind the flap. So now you can go ahead and you can count the pigs. So there's one, two, three pigs and you can count all the other animals you can touch all the different textures this one's my favorite one so now we're looking for Wooly the sheep so this is just a fun cute little series again lots of flaps lots of textures the next one is one of our newer books this is Poppy and Sam animal sounds so on every page there's this little sound panel that you can just push the button and listen to the tractor and the animals and you can push them on and off. So you're reading the story all about Poppy and Sam. And here's all the sounds. And of course, the little yellow duck. I just love the illustrations. They're so fun. Here's one of the older ones from the older series. They've kind of stopped making these with the sound panel on the side. And they've all kind of moved over to this new technology, which is nice. Um, but this is a really cute story all about the noisy train. And kids just love pushing these buttons. And of course, as I said, you know, the duck, every page. And these little tabs at the top make the pages kind of easy to turn. So that's a good one. This one right here is probably one of my top selling books ever. This is the wind up tractor book. So it has all of these little pop out characters and all these stories. So this one's all about a scarecrow secret. You can pop out all the little characters and put them in the story. This is the story that my son likes the most. The tractor's in trouble. He crashes into a tree. So you can pop out all the characters. It has a little bit of direction as to like ideas where you could put them in the scene, but you don't really have to. Um, the tree does sit right here though. And then you wind up the tractor, which is really hard to do with one hand. <laughs> I apologize. But here you go. You get the idea. You wind it up and you do a better job than I just did. But he's going to come around and he's going to run into the tree that is sitting right here. And then in the next story, um, the tractor runs through, crashes through this fence and ends up in this pond. So super fun book. We... Uh, really like the wind-up books over at our house. This right here is probably one of Usborne's top selling books ever. This is the complete Farm Yard Tales. So this includes 20 stories in it. It has all 20 of, of the books. Um, and this is actually considered a dual reader. And I'll show you why in a second. But first, one of my favorite features of this book is this little map because in every story, they're at a different place. Sometimes they're, they're at a train station. Sometimes they're in a field. Sometimes they're at the barn. And you can go through with your kids and kind of navigate the map and find out where they are. So it's super fun. So in this first story, the pig gets stuck. So this is a dual reader. If your kids are just learning how to read, they can read only just the top parts of every page and not worry about the bottom. And it's going to make a complete story. So this is Apple Tree Farm. On the farm, there are six pigs. It is time for breakfast. 
Curly is hungry. So as your kids are just learning how to read, they can just read the top part. Um, that's easy for them. And if you're reading it with them together, you read the bottom part and it just has all of like the added detail into the story. So it's super fun. Again, there's our friend, the little yellow duck. He is hiding on every page in the books, which just, it really does make it super fun. So all 20 stories are compiled together. This is definitely the best value. If you like the Farm Your Tale series, this is the one that you want to get. You can also buy them in these little mini versions too, which are nice. They're about the size of my hand. They're perfect for on the go, in the car, um, at a doctor's office, at a restaurant, wherever you are. Um, instead of handing your kid your phone, you could hand them one of these little Farm Your Tale books and it's super fun. Again, this is a dual reader too. These are the exact same stories as in this one. It's just in a mini format. You can also buy them in the first reader form. So as your kids are growing up um, and they move into doing chapter books, this one is a really nice um, progression into a chapter book series. It's pretty much the same story. Um, it's just formatted a little bit differently and it has some speech bubbles in it. It has. They all have this little bookmark, this little ribbon bookmark. And the best thing about this series is that it actually has comprehension puzzles in the back. So your kid might be able to read it, but are they understanding what they're reading? So all of these little puzzles at the back test their knowledge to make sure that they are understanding what is actually happening in the story, which is super fun. And then it has the answers. So there's those ones. And then the last two that I have here are these newer ones that they just came out with. And for a while, I until I actually looked at them, I didn't understand what the point of making them was because all 20 stories in this book are in these ones. So 10 in this one, 10 in this one. And I thought, well, why did they need to do another one? But if you actually compare them, they are very different. They are totally geared towards different age groups. So let's look at this one, for example, Pig Gets Stuck. And I'll just show you what the difference is in the story. So, sorry, I should have planned this better. I uh, should have looked for it first. Um, so, in this story, it's called Pig Gets Stuck. And in here, it is called Curly Gets Stuck. So, it's actually the first story. So, let's read the first one. This is Apple Tree Farm. This is Mrs. Boot, the farmer. She has two children called Poppy and Sam and a dog called Rusty. So, and then this one starts, it was a sunny morning at Apple Tree Farm. Poppy and Sam were helping Mrs. Boot to feed the animals. Time to feed the pigs. Curly, the littlest pig, was waiting eagerly for his breakfast. He was very hungry. So, they are very similar, but these ones are definitely geared more towards kids who are reading it on their own um, as strong readers. Um, I don't really want to put an age on it because kids really do start reading at different levels, but I think this one is probably more appropriate for like ages three and up and then maybe this one like ages six or seven and up as they're more confident readers in their own and they can read through these they're just I don't know I just feel like the font is different the formatting of it it's more like a story more like a book um than this one which is to me geared towards more younger kids but it's totally your decision um you look at them as you can see them, and you can decide for yourself which formats you think fit better for your family and which ones you prefer for yourself. And there you go. So I hope you found this video useful. I wish that I had all of the Farm Your Tale books. This is most of them. There's a few that I don't have. I know there's a really good sticker book. There's a couple one. There's a coloring book. Um, but you can view those online if you want to take a peek at those. But there you go. Um, these are the Farmyard Tales slash Poppy and Sam series. I hope that you guys end up loving them as much as I do. And that's it for me. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day.